favorite humans doing? Are you having a fantastic time? I really hope so. Remember, you can interact with us at White Vibes on Facebook, Y254 channel on Twitter. Hashtag is Thursday Vibes because we like to serve you with good vibes, not just on Thursday, but it just so happens it's a Thursday <laughs> and we're vibing. Yeah, please tell me where you're watching from, what you want to hear. If you have a question for one of our guests, previously we just had a guest with Brian Sakwa, and I think it was quite interesting. If you missed it, please do catch us on YouTube. Yes, and without further ado, my name is Valentine, by the way. Without further ado, let's get into it. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Well, you look nice. Thank you. you What's too. your name? Oh, thank you. What's your name? Uh, my name is Bimix. Mm -hmm. yeah. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Uh, Bimix is an artist, mm -hmm. an actor with appearances uh, in Trap House, happened on MTV around 2020. Mm -hmm. Also an executive producer for a show called The Breakdown 254. Mm -hmm. Basically The Breakdown 254 uh, talks ab breaks down and talks about the writing process for the artist. Anakuja na to break ya down and atualezea the thoughts, the stories, what influenced what he penned down. Zile emotions zile kwanga behind certain lyrics. Kama kuna kitu, maybe alikuwa na manisha, but the fans never got it. This is where you come and tell us. Mm -hmm. Break down to five four. And uh, I'm also a performing uh, act. Mm -hmm. yeah. You do a lot of things. Yeah, quite a couple. Okay. I have a question that is, um, I want to marry what you just said. So, there is this post on, I don't know now what platform that was, social media, so many. But so I see a post and it is of Pop Smoke's, I want to say manager. Yes, the late Pop Smoke. So his manager comes up and says, yo, now that um, Takeoff, may he rest in peace, is gone, do something with his music and, and get release an album or something. Now he's talking to the Migos family or what is left of it. And, you know, something about inspiration. Because Pop Smoke kind of blew up after, you know. Yeah, after he, he he, That's Which ridiculous. Really yes, really really so sad. ridiculous. Ah. that's giving him his roses after he's died. Ah, it's... Know? it's Anyway, <laughs> hashtag is when money. So how do you feel about that? About uh, using Pop what Smoke's manager telling the guys to use takeoffs jams to release something? Yeah, kind of make an album and just... <laughs> well, album. not even feeling about it. Thing is, it's going to happen. Uh -huh. We're going to see, we're going to actually in the next couple of months duration, we're going to see a lot of take of songs which we had never heard before. Mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. whole time. And zita kam not apata zinakuja zinakuwa hit, zina charts and all that. And the guy is not even there. And uh, I remember seeing one of the clips akiwakwa interview kisema, give me my roses before I die. Mm -hmm. And it's sad the roses are gonna come in plenty just after he died. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is that something you're afraid of as an artist? Sorta but at the same time, I don't know why. It's like death has this sort of impact where guys now look at you on a serious note and then they like, hey, okay, this guy was actually really doing something. I believe um, you're going to get your roses uh, as you live in. But even as you die, if you left a legacy, mm -hmm. that's a legacy. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be there even after you're dead. So definitely it's going to come with other pair of roses you never got mm -hmm. so it's still gonna happen sounds a little bit unfair though yeah it's a little bit unfair but in life i wish we would get our roses before we die but sometimes it just it is what it is what part of you do you think is most dominant is it you the actor you the artist you the student perhaps of life well uh, i'd say the artist why the artist uh, why why the artist? Why the artist? Uh, because usually um, I find myself in that writing process, that creative process, and uh, most of the time I'm usually thinking about music. Mm -hmm. um, the acting side, um, growing up, I well, Snipes, I can act. I think, uh, I can't remember. Minute, uh -huh. Yeah, and then there was The Fugitive, uh -huh. Akina Harrison Ford, and I usually loved those movies, Akina Face Off. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, hey, I think I'm going to I want to act, I dive, I want to gun, I command. It was just interesting. It was a whole vibe. And then later on, I got to uh, slight, slight appearances, Tango Nikua Primo. 
high school tukaingia drama mf university nikaingia the musical nikaona the theater side and then i later on come to see um, the acting side the big project side with the uh, ntv trap mm -hmm. house and uh najua ni something iko inbuilt in me mm -hmm. the artist side is also inbuilt but i believe Nikki work on the artist side it will also give me placements in the acting side oh that's smart yeah. okay so see at you na batisha moja they're just uh -uh. all part of si you batishi, they're all part of me uh they're all different talents mm -hmm. that i can say i'm blessed with oh humble and also aware okay i yeah. like that i want to tell you a funny story so yeah. i once upon a time i used to do stage plays mm -hmm. so my first couple of stage plays okay definitely were not good because i didn't go for any training or you hadn't just practice i just kind of yeah. no practice we practice but just the, the the process like telling you okay now you you gotta enter the, when you have a character this is now becomes you yes. this this is you from now yes. until further yeah. notice yes. this is your name you yes. should be someone yes. says it you should turn no this is not the name you were born with but if someone's basic things i mm. did was not quite aware so i finally get the hang of it and then my mom comes to see one of the plays so a few weeks later now you know, I'm, I'm feeling better about myself. I'm, I'm feeling a bit more <laughs> confident. So randomly, my mom asked me to do something. And then, my, kind of my response, but I remember hers. She told me, why, are you sure you're not acting for me? I'm like, <laughs> okay, thank you for telling me I'm such a great actor, but Nini, Nini, Sasa, do you ever... It came, it came out as a reflex. <laughs> I, I, I wasn't even acting, though. I was, I was, it was just I was genuine. your natural response. And I think I the thing so is... Confused. <laughs> the thing is, the acting is, you, in as much as you have to be that character, that character is made by you. Mm -hmm. And there's going to be a little bit of you in that character. It's true. So, unapata kuna vile tu, unapata mna relate. <laughs> kuna vile tu, so unapata, especially after, let's say you've done such a big project, let's say, kama we've been rehearsing for like, man summer weeks and weeks mm -hmm. your character has a party me you may sip in mm. so much that even after after the show is over kuna to elements, kuna to elements i don't tell too. you also you have to kind of come out of the character yeah too. you have to so come maybe out of the character <laughs> you know it's gonna stick with you yeah, anyway yeah. It's, it's a whole lot of knowledge people think acting is is faking it no, those no. emotions are very real. Very I'm real. just directing you have to them tap somewhere into else. Somewhere. Yes. You have to tap. In other <laughs> words, maybe you're, you're, you're acting a scene where maybe you're, you're, you're breaking up. Mm -hmm. you're, can you, you're acting on the stage is not what you're feeling, but you'll have to tap into somewhere. You'll have to tap into that grief, that emotion mm -hmm. we bring equal life. Mm -hmm. So at the end of it all, in as much as you're acting, there's the realness in it. Mm. Like I had a bad day the previous day, uh -huh. and then I find myself on stage. Oh my. <laughs> and then your character was crying. Yes! <laughs> it was so amazing! You took advantage. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I've never acted as. as and, and you see, the good thing about acting um, for actors, I can say it's, it also kind of masks some some aspect for us mm. so, so for you you took advantage of that you let out that grief mm. in such an easy way guys would say you were doing <laughs> amazing but deep down on a joke on a grief being in on a it it comes with the parts uh -huh. of acting do you ever worry about being typecasted like you do really well as some mm. commando, boom boom. Mm. But you want to audition for a doctor or some mm -hmm. psychologist out there, but well, um, they're just saying fighting. Well, uh, currently, um, at Kiwa back in the in the university days, we used to do a lot of projects, nini uh, plays and stuff, and they'd always give me this father character. Sijunikwa nini? They'd always give me this father character. <laughs> Ani? I see that coming. <laughs> I was always given this father character, and I, I don't know why. It's maybe because I, huh. I usually am almost 24/7 in trench coats. I'm not wearing trench coats, Sana. I'm not checking. So this is this is out of character. This is out of character a little bit, just a little bit, not entirely because um, my brand image is actually all black, red glasses. There's that aspect of being uh. all black that adds a little bit of danger. I just uh -huh. love it. Uh -huh. And then the red adds a little bit more danger, so it's, yeah. 
So usually I'm usually in trenches. So unapata nikiwa shule walikuwa na type cast as the father figure. Mm -hmm. Nilikuwa na like uh, but okay <laughs> kwa sababu najua I was kind of comfortable in it. I was kind of comfortable so yeah. kuna vile mm -hmm. nilikuwa na slack. Mm -hmm. But uh, I wouldn't want to be typecasted because so we have come hali after being typecasted a lot. You get too comfortable. You don't explore other avenues that you might have that might have had that spice, mm -hmm. but you just never got to it because umezo ya kufanya hi nikitu makuki do the whole time. You need to be unafa ufaiko kwa comfortable. That's the thing. Ukiya na kuski una feel comfortable. Eh buji. <laughs> Show them. Snap out of it. Snap out of it. <laughs> All right, going to your music now. You said you have something new coming up. Yes, I. I have an album coming. Oh. Yes. When do you sleep? Okay. Mm. Man, we're trying. We're trying. Mm -hmm. I have an album coming. This is my debut album as I'm also graduating. Mm -hmm. So Damn. Nelson, do we call it sophomore album, Mama Ninini? It's soft mama ni nini? Let's call it soft mama. Yeah, but basically this is my first album mm -hmm. coming out. Uh, I released some of the tracks previously. Uh, that is four of them. Throne, No Lies, What Did You Mean, and Fire Burn. Mm -hmm. And uh, the thing is, Ukikachini Uskize, is it almost different vibes. Mm -hmm. Throne, it some classical vibes. Guys used to comment, it was some ice cube type of things, hints type mm -hmm. of thing. And then No Lies is where the story gets deep. Um, it's some hip hop, emo rap. And then Fireburn is just completely the opposite. Tunakuja, tunanda kufireburn, it's some reggae vibes, some feel good vibes. Did you just say reggae? I Man, would imagine never that. have pegged you for that. Imagine one. that. And then this there's also some Afro vibes in it. Yeah. Um, but basically the whole album from the very first song to the last song is a storyline. Mm -hmm. Niluki skiza bila kushuffle, kuna ka story kana endelea. Mm -hmm. Kuna cheki. Kana endelea lakini nile design nye each song individually mm -hmm. is a vibe. Mm -hmm. Unaza skiza individually is a vibe but kachini skiza is, is the whole thing. It has this bigger picture and you're like, Okay, I never saw that. What's name to fikiri excess? Lazim, the thing is, I try to, I try to do things that are just not face value. Mm -hmm. That um, years on later, guys are gonna come back to this and they're gonna see and they're gonna say like, "Ata kama this guy is doing big this time, ata he your time, bad alikuam no, bad alikuam no ma." Was in. I try to make, when I'm making my stuff, when I'm making my music, something that is going to be timeless. No, no. Now, for you to do that, a is just shallow. Mm -hmm. It has to have a lot of aspects to it. Mm -hmm. When I'm like, let's say, for example, I have a new song that is out, Lemon Paper. Lemon Paper, basically, in Akwambi, I say, throwing the album is coming. Wow. Basically, that's just it. But it's a crazy no thing. No interlude. You just want to just give us a full track. That and it's a whole <laughs> six-minute six track. Six minutes. <laughs> <laughs> basically, the throne the album is coming and Kuanisha was say just a bit of what's me currently. Mm -hmm. And um, Ukiskiza lemon paper. Okay, this guy did a whole six minutes. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. That's dope. And kuna msi ata kujia kaichini askiza 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 aski. Eh, ni wum jamal kwa na flow. Askiza eh, the flow was legit. Man, flow top. And kuna msi mungine ata kujia. Now this is later. Mwenye ame kujia me kaichini aka askiza flow. Kujia kaichini aka askiza the six minutes. Later on, ona kujia tena wa kujia the second time wa kujia kuskiza na askiza. Okay. Kuna kitu mjama kumbe alikuwa nasema. Kumbe si, si kuflow peke. There's something he's actually saying. Mm -hmm. Waskize. And then they go. Mm -hmm. And then later on, wanakuja wana naku dissect what I was actually saying. Mm -hmm. And then wana realize kuna the, the kuna mabazi zingine ziko hapo. Kuna zingine ma interludes. Kuna the, kuna the double and tundras. Mnazita angaje triple and tundras. All those things. As in kuna some other aspects is equal in wordplay wise you'd never see it just from the upper view mm -hmm. so there's kunaile view kuyangalilia hapa and then you get closer you realize there's something else and then you get closer you realize there's something else 
That's what I try to do. Mm -hmm. As in, iyo ni ngoma ni kusoshua. Years later on, they're still gonna study this. Mm -hmm. They're still gonna Not be studying this. Not even play, this. study. You're going to study. <laughs> when I'm just studying this. Wait, all right. Now you're giving me gas. I'm so excited not to listen to your album. Now you can sell yourself well. Good job. Ah. Very, very <laughs> Thank good you. job. Okay. Do you sample your music to people who you. Okay, let me rephrase it like this. There is the public eye, and then the people you care about, and then there is their opinion of you. Yes. So it could feel or slap different mm -hmm. when you talk a stranger about your music or mm -hmm. you sample it to them mm -hmm. versus someone who you ac who actually knows you mm -hmm. maybe perhaps and someone you care about. Yes, there mm -hmm. you go. So do you sample to Yes. Wallahi. Yes, it actually. It's so vulnerable and There was <laughs> there was this one <laughs> song actually <clears throat> What did you mean is a is a heartbreak song also part in the album. And uh, it reflects on no lies. It's kind of like going back to no lies. And in no lies, uh, basically, it was a whole confrontation where it got so haywire, uh, the love relationship went south. But that was the first time I was dropping something of that sort. Macheki, previously, I was drop Throne. Throne is a, it's a classical vibe. Basically, I was say, say, I'm good, but I could be bad. Macheki, I'm a good guy, but I could be bad. And inside Bado Kuna hints that the album, what is going to happen is the whole album progresses. Kuna Malina Sama, I'm the villain that your hero can die to. No Kangalia Fireband, you'll see the hero. And later on, if you, if you listen to the album, you'll see the villain. Mm -hmm. You see. But Niki Tuano lies. At that point, where I tapped that emotion from, because mm -hmm. I tapped it from somewhere. I was I was in such a low place that sikuwa nataka ku put out then ilikuwa na like iki to sasa ni kitu si watu wanakuja like bro uko poa are you okay bro are you okay because like na sikuwa nataka ku feel evil because nilikuwa nga nimeipoa into the music nataka kutengeneza kitu yenye ni so sure it has the human emotions msee atakuja kikachini ata relate to it una check that was my aim sikuwa nataka ati msee akuje ati anipitie aski eh bro <laughs> so, so so 50-50 about it but um, as always kuna, kuna those people who you value their opinion and as much kuna the public eye kuna those guys who are your, your people so definitely watumia wakanambia yo bro unasema nini what are you saying what are you saying? Drop that shit. Uh -huh. Drop that hit, man. Uh -huh. Yeah. So definitely, kuna sisi zingine unasikianga woga kuonyesha, but inafikanga point pia unahanga sita waonyesha wacha muiyo ni inji sasa. Na cheki ni makuani kwa tumia tumia sana. Sisi sasa hizi wacha yewa kute muski muski. Aya by the ni mepiskiya piki piki kiki pita lakini na chizanga ma. Yangu ma yasauti si miya bmx. Ah. I'm a tongue of Mampia. I bought an excuse. When was Kizak Piggy Shock? Allah. So, yes, sometimes you feel vulnerable telling people, but at the end of the day, I think everybody has their own people when yeah, you value their opinion. Na Kuna Wanyana Konga means Kianga before the big, big, mm -hmm. big, the big, the big, the big whole, the whole world. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I know you want your music to be timeless. Do you ever feel the pressure of? staying relevant because you clearly music has waves this industry juicy to me big one up a piano that's mm. some as mm. if it's never existed <laughs> it's been around and then gegeton was there and then kama says in kama tawa to me so how but uh, they disturbed us for let me tell minutes. you no, previously a while back people going on a wave flani a rhythm mm. and then says it's weird and come out to a lavangi in and then well the thing is for me um Niki make my music, uh, my target in Akwanga to tap into something guys can relate to as a human. As long as you're human, there's something on as a feel from that song you can relate to. So, and I believe with that aspect in itself, it kind of makes it beyond the wave. On a checky, wave it a come, it a pita. Like in his song, it a bakikama, nini, samangaje, touch. Wasa mangaje lighthouse kwa ocean. Itabaki as a lighthouse. Imebaki tu imesimama. The waves ime come. 
time imepita everything is happening but iko to happen na ile song yenye trust to me at years later kikamu skize it's very much relevant that's the thing because ni me talk about human emotions and everybody as long as you're human you feel something does it offend you if people openly do not vibe with your music well not really because everybody is entitled to their own opinion uh i mean actually see vibe na ngoma za kila mtu pia na cheki um msia kikuja niambi openly eh bro ngoma yako ni trash of course jambiwa jambiwa bado so i'm still waiting but um in the event that msia kikuja niambi it's trash it's okay that's your opinion kuna wenye me value una cheki kuna clip nilikuwa naona kwa Instagram wanasema nga let's say umeenda kuuza as an artist unjua watu huku nje wanasema nga mnaiti shanga bay ni nini ni, but we charge for zile experiences and all the time imetufikisha kufika hapa so msania na kama anasema na charge this for this msania anakuja anasema eh hey, bro this is this is slightly expensive na jua msanii mwingine anaweza kuja perform at a way cheaper price at maybe just for the exposure and stuff ah. Because Alafu, exposure Mambia, we also things. know we also know guys who who will pay better money than what you're offering. Ooh. See that's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> that's the thing. So kama kuna msee atakuja openly aniambia yo bro as long as intention yake wasn't being negative as in kuna ule msee anakuja tu like for the publicity bro ngoma yako nini as in tu aonyekane amesema but kama msee amekuja ameniambia kana ameniambia eh hey, bro Now if this is someone that is offering proper real criticism atakuja ni sideline and I'm here bro hmm. eh hapa nilikuwa na feel kuna vile hapa kwa beat ukiongezea ka hivi kanaweza slap hmm. ama kuna mali hapa kwa lyric ukiongezea hivi na hivi maybe naona that's proper crit nini mwisma constructive constructive criticism hmm. but kama ni umse tu anakuja tu just to blow at your face eh hey, bro nini Actually oh, that's you. Sana, ni, ni kitu la, fanya ya jam. Okay, they're telling me we're running out of time but I, I don't know why we just <laughs> sat down. Okay, two more questions. Okay, let me make it one. There was a list the other day that was released something about and Brian was telling me uh, last week something about the most streamed songs in Kenya like top 10 not one of them was again <laughs> wow <laughs> not one wow. so we put it out there we gave it to our viewers and mm. then they gave us this reason and, and honestly i'm asking him because me padosi wa party hashtag this Thursday vibe so al sama ni kama wasani wa kenya wako na kiburi sana how do you take that i don't even know like sijui oh wasani wa kenya sijui wako na kiburi mingi ati i don't understand if it's that we cannot relate with them because they feel or allegedly feel i don't know how would you take that kusikia msani kama yeye tuko na kiburi sana by the way well um i'm i'm still trying to understand the context of it all mm. but you think for the whole top 10 list there was no single song and that the was kenyans Kenyan. yes. were saying mm -hmm. it's because wasani wa kuna kiburi yes how does that affect I... the top 10 list though mm. <laughs> Sio ni but kuna kitu pia nyasha alikuwa amesema sometime back akienda kuvuti mm. wasjui i think for some city and something akambia wase wamvutia wakaringa and he commented on kebs akasema he refused to follow me on ig or oh, i'm not voting uh -uh. something i think i said that on kebs na kaendelea akasema it's a free country you can do as you please mm -hmm. uh -huh. and then god bless you even before you sneeze i can't remember the exact <laughs> lyrics but So this is mati wasaniwa kuna kiburi. Unajua as long as you know your worth. As long as you know your worth. Mse mwingine mwenye ako pale hajui your worth, they're gonna be like, "Eh hey bro, I mean I just say anaweza fanya this cheaper nini nini, but that's not my worth." That's just it. Standard zangu zimezifikisha hapa. Fika hapa to work. Una cheki. So this is mati wasaniwa kuna kiburi. Mimi first of all that one of the reasons why naweza sema maybe we are not on the top 10 list is because um Kenyans wana samanga play KE a lot. Mm -hmm. They've been saying that a lot. Alafu and then unakuja unapata kuna wasi wengine pia wanasema oh hakuna content ya maana Kenya. And then they wanaleta ngakangoma kingine kama kama akana sense alafu wanasema 
is this what you want us to support? You want us to play KE and this is what they need. And there are actually <laughs> other songs, Ziko Huku, uh, and they're doing accurate. so dope, <laughs> but we may ignore. Mm -hmm. So I think Pia Kenyans were gonna ignorance. Mm -hmm. Kuna Villa to Pia to Kona ignorance. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's like why sometimes we sleep on ourselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Last question, last question, guys, I promise. Hashtag <laughs> Mr. Vibe. So, yes, it's important, the sequence of the songs in your album, because you told us to tell the story. So there yeah. must be an importance how you named them. Yes. Why did you name it Throne? Why did you name it? Yes. The, the, um, the last reggae one? And just, mm -hmm. <laughs> well, um, uh -huh. the name of the album is called Throne. The album is called Throne. Each song would realize actually some of the songs Atuki Skiza, Ukiangalia lyrically wise na Vanyani Maimba Utangalia the title of the song might not actually even be in the song. Really? Yes. But mm -hmm. what I was making nearly in a that vibe of mm -hmm. what the title is. So the whole song in my summary is one your title. Mm -hmm. And um the whole idea of throne and in another song also along in the album which is called chasing dreams chasing dreams is coming soon uh, it's gonna almost the same mantra as throne throne as a manga and i'm always gonna be aiming for the throne in chasing dreams nasema chasing dreams in a sort of sense throne is me just chasing my dreams mm -hmm. in another context Aiming for the throne is the same as chasing my dreams. Mm -hmm. And I'm always going to be aiming for the throne. Right now I'm pacing, I'm chasing, can stand in the seat. I practically know what I'm at and them I can miss. See, I only got two options and they both for the win. And we can drop the facade, there was no option to quit. Damn. No wrecking and almost no wrecking. Whether you think it's the same or not, it really don't matter. I've been through a lot of that still really don't. Hey. When it comes to chasing dreams, then it really does. Basically, the whole album, in Angelia, chasing your dreams. And then there's also the aspect of heartbreak. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine chasing your dreams. Usually, guys are fueled by positive emotions on them. Go chase your dreams. But I would imagine this. If you were fueled mm -hmm. by negative emotions to chase your dreams, what would you be? Wait, not anything good. You'd be a monster. <laughs> yeah. You'd be a monster. Hey. And that's where the villain comes out. Where is Sipole Bas? It's going to be bad. You read a lot. Yes. Yeah, I can tell. Joey, where's the corner words? Mingi, mingi, evil. You can't be playing with my mind like that if you don't read. Just, okay. All right, so yes, like I promised was my last question, although I will have several others uh, behind the scenes, but that's neither here or there. Hashtag is Thursday Vibes. Please do tell us how to get in touch with you if we are allowed to get in touch with you, how to get your music and things like that. Uh, you can find my music out on Spotify, Deezer, Boomplay, YouTube, all the rest, all the music platforms at Bmix Ke. Spell it. Wait, wait. I am here leading by example. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Spell it. Bmix B M uh -huh. I uh -huh. double X. Okay. You're in YouTube. Yeah. Ke. Ke. -E. Oh. Official. All right. Okay. Yes. Okay. Instagram and all those. And Instagram, things. Twitter, all the rest. Basically, you can search Bmix Ke. Utani mm -hmm. pata. Actually, yato kini Google. Utani ona. And um, you can also catch up with me on uh, Friday. We'll be at Jquat Halloween, mm -hmm. uh, performing along great artists. Akina Kami, Akina Brenda Maina, Akina Ndugu, Akina Adsi. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be a whole vibe happening on Friday. So guys can catch up with me then. If you miss on Friday, you can also catch up with me on Sunday. We're going to be at Lava Latte. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a whole vibe. You are busy, clearly, this weekend. Yes. All right. Okay, there we go. So, BMX in the house. And I am quite intrigued if you are not. Minongo J album, by the way. Very much so. Meanwhile, at 254 Facebook, Y254 channel on Twitter. Hashtag of the day is Thursday Vibes. Now, you stay there, and we'll be right back after this short break.